hey everyone and welcome to my channel welcome back if you are a returning viewer so we're getting straight into this video for my birthday wig zipping through this bald cap method um i'm using i'm using my oh my gosh here i go stuttering already like come on using my red ebon wonder lace spray and i'm just using my finger to spread that around the front of my hairline and on my forehead a tad bit in front of my hairline and then blow drying that on a cool high setting and now we're getting to cutting off this bald cap y'all i know i've been going for a month now like isn't that crazy that just sounds really insane like why would i be going for that long who knows i'm not going to speak on it today we'll save that for another video but i'm back and i'm better that's all that matters and i'm happy to be giving y'all content again i missed you guys taking my ruby kisses cream foundation in the shade rd15 and my makeup brush i'm just smoothly putting this onto my cap so it can give bald you feel me look at this wig though p 18 yeah p18 slash 613 highlights is what this wig color scheme is from ali pearl hair i did not color or tone this wig by myself this literally came like this but i just showed you guys inside of the wig it came pre-plucked i did go ahead and pluck it some more and i tinted it with the same foundation that i used on my cap so yeah i just cut off my ear tabs to get that out of the way for a more seamless install and i'm cleaning off my forehead of any leftover makeup or residue with rubbing out alcohol this video is moving a little fast i know but stay with me <laughs> i'm being really precise with this because this is my birthday wig not only because of that but yeah definitely because of that like you can't fuck up the birthday look like but anyways let's focus let's get serious i'm getting into my first layer of glue i'm using this get crazy glue i have it linked down below in the description box I'm using my popsicle stick to smooth this glue out and i'm kind of keeping it on the cap in front of the cap and then a little bit on my skin as you guys can see now that it's drying down and getting tacky you guys can kind of see like the outline of the glue and where exactly i have it placed on my forehead so i'm repeating the same process i love to apply the glue actually behind not behind my ear but right in front of my ear so that the wig can just stick a lot more natural on my sideburns wow <laughs> sideburns <laughs> y'all haven't done a voiceover in the longest time like this is crazy anyways though i did this process about five times and each time i'm blow drying it on a cool high setting until it is clear and tacky and when i say tacky i mean sticky you want to be able to touch it and your fingers kind of sticking to it you don't want to touch it too much because you know like you're mixing oils and all that extra stuff to where the lace won't stick as well and it can move the glue so don't touch it too much just tap it a little bit to see if it's tacky and if it is that's how you know it's time to move on to the next layer so here we are on the next layer i'm really just trying to smooth the glue out and get it to be as thin as possible because when it's kind of like thick and not laying flat it's harder for it to blow dry clear so yeah make sure you guys are doing that i'm just using my popsicle stick to ensure that it is getting sticky and yeah i'm just repeating this process until i am satisfied now I do do different um amounts of layers depending on how long i want the wig to be on but i knew i wanted this wig to be on for about a week a little longer which it did last this long this glue is really good so yeah i did five layers but sometimes if i don't want it to last long i'll just use um three layers at most or ebon wonder lace spray to melt the wig random but i had noticed in my last video comment section somebody said how the fuck is you so good at this you guys have to understand i've been doing this for four years okay you're not going to be the best wig installer overnight unless you're really talented like that and like you just got it in the bag but it literally takes trial and tribulation and practice okay literal practice but let's let me save that conversation for another time and show you guys what i'm doing here so the wig is now on i have pulled it forward and i'm just pressing it into exactly where i have the glue trying to be really precise with this and place it in the correct position and i'm just pressing that in using my rat tail comb and my blow dryer still on a cool high setting to push that glue even further into the lace and now i'm using my elastic band to tie this up and we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes and in the meantime style this hair i just switched up the conversation so fast you guys but i didn't want to miss that part like i love to explain that part because y'all have to know where exactly to put the wig at you feel me 
but anyway so i wanted to do a deep side part you feel me i was contemplating like middle part side part middle part side part i had no clue what i wanted to do omg y'all mind me chewing <laughs> i was hungry i haven't ate all day and this install was super last minute for last minute birthday ting so yeah let's just mind that i really do apologize y'all have to see that it's really not that big of a deal anyways now that i have my part figured out i'm using my care care wax stick and my hot comb to smooth out each section so that the wig can lay really flat you feel me like we don't want no bumpy wig we don't want that we want each section to just lay effortlessly and so yeah that's what it's giving that's what it's looking like now that i have done that After letting that band sit on there for a good 10, 12 minutes, I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting two sections upwards, if that makes sense. You guys can see what I'm doing in my eyebrow razor and I'm cutting off my lace. I'm trying to cut it right where the glue was left, but it is some pieces sticking up. And what we're going to do about that is either glue those pieces back down or cut them off as we go if they're just not necessary as you guys can see i'm doing here just cutting off some pieces that really just didn't need to be there that didn't belong you know i don't want to have too much lace showing if that makes sense i would rather have a hairline that is being shown and just not having too much lace on your skin because it makes it look more natural when you are precise i love using the word precise because that's really what you got to do when you install installing the wigs really be precise but yeah you guys anyways i'm using the end of my rat tail comb and i'm just smoothing out thin layers of glue really thin layers so that it can dry fast and that it won't be just too much because we are just laying down itty bitty pieces and i'm just pressing that in with my finger and using my bow jar on a cold high setting using my finger to further press that in and yeah i'm doing that on all the spots where the lace was lifting To add some more color to my lace to blend it more to my skin tone i'm taking that same rd15 cream foundation and this small makeup brush it's like an eyeshadow brush and i'm just patting that into the lace and then i'm taking my red ebon wonder lace spray and tapping that into my lace right where the lace is you feel me right in front of that lace and on top so yeah just smoothing that out with my finger not using too much and then i'm letting that dry for like 30 seconds and then putting on the elastic band shout out to ebony for giving us that tip on tiktok but yeah using my uh what you call it my elastic band for about 10 minutes as i continue to style this hair i did push this part up a little bit further because although i love a deep side part it was just a little too deep I just pluck this part a little bit to widen it up and make it look a little bit more natural and not so wiggy and using my care care wax stick again to further flatten out this hair so this is what it looks like after we have melted this for the second time and now I am pulling out my baby hairs I wanted them to be thin you guys just like how I said in my last video like I just have a habit of creating dramatic baby hairs because I do really like that look but with the blonde you don't really want to do that unless you know that's your preference do what you do but for me personally i feel like blonde looks better on me and just in general when it's like you know the baby hairs are thin fluffy natural type you feel me so i didn't want to pull out too much hair so this is a map out and the layout of what i'm doing just trying to get the perfect amount for what i'm trying to achieve which was very cute by the way like i loved the way these came out and i'm going to continue to do this technique that i used for this install so i'm using my hot comb to kind of straighten out these hairs a bit nothing too crazy because these hairs were already pretty straight this wig was very straight in general like i did not go in with anyways let's focus <laughs> i'm using my icy fantasia holding spritz and laying that on the top of my baby hairs just so they can lay flatter and the lace can just you know you want to go in with the third melt like if you don't go in with the third melt what really are you doing because y'all see the results yeah i know y'all heard that why well, sound like auto tune on my voice on that last part anyways i just cut off these baby hairs i trimmed them a bit longer than i usually do because i wanted the curliness of the baby hair to really show up 
in the laying of these edges so when i curled it you know and i molded down with this icy fantasia holding liquid mousse spray which will be linked down below you feel me just using a little bit of that and spraying that directly on top of the edges trying to get the perfect angle so i can see really what i'm doing here and i'm using my finger in the comb side of the edge brush because when i like when you do this combo it really gives you the perfect kind of layout for what you want your edges to be like you feel me just using your finger the comb side or if you prefer the brush i feel like i have more control with the comb personally but yeah you guys just kind of flipping those hairs over so they can create the fluff look that we're going for it didn't take me a lot of effort to do this just a lot of concentration because the baby hairs were the perfect length it was the perfect amount from plucking them a little bit so y'all know how i transitioned from using got to be glue gel in my baby hairs to using foam and um not even just got to be glued but that or is holding gel too and now that i'm using this spray after leaving the foam alone like just trying something different because i have seen somebody use icy fantasia spray for the baby hairs and i really like the outcome of it i'm like okay like they're fluffy they're cute so i gave it a try i'm definitely going to do this method more using the icy fantasia holding spritz because i liked how they were fluffy but still molded you feel me like because when you use the foam like you get the molded and fluffy but you don't get that same curl you feel me so like when you use a spray it gives you more control to have a curl at the end and have them to be really fluffy to widen up the part and to make it look a little bit more defined and more natural i'm using the same rd15 cream foundation by ruby kisses usually i would go in with a shade lighter like 09 or 11 but since it's blonde i figured it would look better and more natural if i just use the same foundation shade that i use on the rest of the lace so that's what i did I didn't even have to style this hair for the video or at all if you don't even want to because it comes straight out the package really silky really straight really smooth i did add curls to it later on but this is the final look for the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and a comment i love to talk to you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one